that's when you put the sealer in. But what I always used to say to guys, do your good evacuation, change out your liquid line dryer if you see problems, right? You don't have to do those things as far as evacuating. You can put the product in, in fact, you put the product in under pressure and work on the system, right? You know that. But from now for this experiment, I'm saying, you know what? You have moisture even if you did everything right. So always put a cannabis in first, then put the sealant in second, right after it, immediately after it, and it'll do all the work for you. And it'll do better work for you, and you'll do actually, you'll, you know, you'll see some amazing things. As far as you know how this would work, if, especially with businesses that run seven days a week. Seven days and a week. And can't do it out east if you guys get pinhole leaks in your uh, coils and stuff that have to be fixed and you can't find it right there. Yeah. That would work. You know, the other thing too is, the sealant is when you have a leak that you can't find, but the dry are, we have a company, you know Starbucks across the well, world, there's a company called Race Mechanical. They're putting dry R in every unit for the refrigerated cabinets. Why? Because they want those units to last long. And let's face it, we can get rid of moisture at the very beginning. We're going to get rid of a lot of problems down the road. So they're putting it in when they do a repair job, um, when they, they every unit is getting dry R. You know, it's good for 410A with polyester oils, perfect one. As you guys know, those are hyperscopic. Look, you that. Yep. See all that blue on the bottom? That's the water. This is a very deep vacuum we're seeing here. It's probably 20 microns, which you, you don't get in the field. You're happy if you get 500, under 750. Ashray says under 1,000.